Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, the most controversial thing that you talked about last time on the show, and we'll talk about it again now, um, was the retention of oversized fish. Oversized in the sense of uh, 18 inches and above. Do you recall that little conversation that we had? Um, I was probably talking about... Um, probably talking about how there's been cer certain trends in, in fisheries management, right? For a while, I, for example, when I started the business, um, it was all, well, we should have minimum sizes. We should protect the small fish. And then we realized, well, we were hitting some of these fisheries pretty hard. Uh, the, the number of spawners was, you know, getting close to a, a concern point. Right. And we started talking about, hey, you need to have a certain number of spawners in the population to sustain the fishery. And I think, I think right now we're in this period of, Oh, we ought, we got to release the big fish. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we got to release those big fish. The, the females have eggs. And I'm well, one, one of we, we're taking our mammal approach to fish, right? right. A while female is going to spawn 10, 10 to 100,000 eggs, you know, in the spring. And if every one of those eggs for the population survive, you're going to have no water available, sure. in, right. you know, when they, and they're sure. Yeah. It's, it's just, we can't take that, oh, that deer mammal kind of philosophy, how we're thinking about management and apply it to fish, where their whole reproductive strategy of why is to bomb the shore, bomb the, River, river riffles with with eggs and hope maybe you know half of one percent will survive right. to um to hatch and, and and recruit into the fishery so i might have been starting there but at the same time i was talking about um or might have been talking about of the fact that people believe as the number of female or large walleye increase the number of um, small walleye will, will be available, right? It's a linear thing. If I got more females, large fish, small fish coming up. So why doesn't that make any sense? I mean, why are we thinking linearly like that, right? Do you have a clue? None. No. All right, Dean? Uh, Dean's cheating. Dean nope, was cheating. I have no clue either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, okay. It's an ecosystem. There's always limits, right? I can't go on infinitely straight up. I'm going to hit a, th a threshold, a carrying capacity of walleyes. So that can't be linear. It has to curve. And for walleyes, once you get a certain number of females or a certain number of large walleye, it actually declines. So the number of fish, young fish that are going to go into the fishery is declining with that large population of large fish. And that's because of what, Paul? Two things. One is that you've got this large population. They're competing against the small fish that they're producing. So there's less forage for them. Right. And second, those large walleye are going to consume young walleye because they're just prey. Right. So that's called cannibalism, right? So right. those two factors mean... Um, that if you have this large abundance of, of large fish in the population, you're going to see less reproduction and recruitment of small fish. 